Thank you for coming, man. Please, please have a seat right there. That's, that's your TV, Will. Yes. Mr. Will B. Yes, sir. So it's been a long time since you've been in the radio station. Very long time. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Lotus FM. Um, as everybody knows that's in the entertainment business, that you've been in the business forever. Um, you a singer, a producer, a writer. Uh, I, I mean, you do everything. And yes. you're currently um, learning a saxophone, so you into yes. the instruments <laughs> you 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 would do it all this is who we have in the studio with us today want to thank you so much for spending time with us and and i mean taking That's the awesome. opportunity Thanks, to come Trevor. and sit down with us thank you well what age did this all start at what age did you realize that you are going to be an entertainer man it's many years ago i think i was probably about four four years old yeah so can you remember what was your first song that you sang and uh, everybody around you said, or maybe you yourself said, hey, I'm a good singer. I went to this concert. I was about nine, ten years old. Uh -huh. My mother took me to this concert. There was this band on stage. Yeah. And I said to my mother, I want to go sing with that band. And I've never, ever sung with a band before. before. Interval, I, I don't know how I got away from her. Uh -huh. I went backstage. I spoke to the MC. What song do you, would you want to sing? Yeah. I said, please stay off Jonathan Butler. Oh, my word. That's awesome, man. That was my first song I ever sung with a band, unrehearsed, on stage. And what did your mother say there She after? got a big shock. <laughs> People went crazy because he put me on this. It was a variety show. Yeah. So he put me on right after interval okay. with the band. Mm, mm, mm. And there I was on the stage singing, please stay. And people went crazy, throwing money. That time, those days, people threw money on stage. Yes. The first professional band that you performed with started traveling and uh, really getting out there. The Rockets. Uh, was that the Rockets? So you were part of the original Rockets outfit? Yes, the Rockets. Tomorrow's World. So that's yes. the Kalimba Party. That's where Kalimba Party comes in. And uh, tell me, how, because that's a huge song. Up till now, you play it in any party, they are partying. Um, uh, uh, tell me about Kalimba Party. Who wrote it? How did it come about? Where were you sit in when you decided? We were, we were in Johannesburg. So one morning, I popped in there by George's flat. As you know, the Stuyvesant packet is got that foil inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't have nothing to write on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took that out. Uh -huh. Pen, George said, listen to this. Well, let's listen to this. We had a little small studio there. And then we started with the writing of the words okay. kalimba, me and but, georgie but what what does kalimba mean man it's an instrument is it oh kalimba is an instrument it's a little instrument yeah okay okay yeah. No, i need you to tell me a joke that's gonna make a great one laugh yeah. i know you're a successful writer hit <laughs> singer everything give me a nice clean joke that will make a, a great one laugh okay here's one yeah so the wife and the husband, they're walking, right? So, mm. so the wife says to the husband, hey, look at this drunk man here, man. So the, the husband tells the wife, who's he? No, this guy, the wife, yeah, he proposed to me 15 years ago, and I rejected him. So the husband, you know, wife, OMG, OMG. He's still celebrating. <laughs> Did anything else interest you? Man. If you weren't going to be an entertainer, what were you going to be? I was probably going to be an electrician. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I went and worked first. Okay. For a whole year in Cape Town. Mm. I did my apprenticeship there. Wow. So what happened there, hey, it was, a, it was another story, brother. So I used to... Wire up, I used to give me, eventually I started wiring up things, eh? Mm -hmm. Diagram, my yeah. tools, yeah. everything I The electrician. Bought. Yeah, <laughs> I was doing all those things behind the big ovens, and say, all right? But what I used to do is, I love music, mm. and I had a little radio, always on my side. Yeah, boy. Listening to my music. Uh-huh. And the foreman didn't like that. And then we fought, and then eventually I told him, hey, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to go to Joburg. 
So yeah, that was it, man. Wow, electrician, huh? Electrician, yeah. Nice. I've got five questions. Um, we're going to give you like, yeah, five questions within 30 seconds. Let's see how well Will knows the 90s. Give me All right. Hit me. All right, Will. The first question. Whitney Houston did a cover version of I Will Always Love You. Who wrote the song? Elvis Presley or Dolly Parton? I think Dolly Parton. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. UK band, Oasis, they sang a song called Wonder Wall, originally known as Wishstone. Now, is this true or false? False. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's yeah. go. Let, let's yeah, continue. False, All man. right. So, uh, Boys to Men, they're the number one ballad. Uh, yes. Motown, Philly or End of the Road? End of the Road. Oh, you got that one. Yes. Uh, who had a hit, You Can Touch Me in the 1990s? Vanilla Ice or MC Hammer? MC Hammer. You got that one right too. <laughs> Final one for five out of five. Okay. Which Hanson song hit number one in the USA? Um, Where's the Love or Umbop? Where's the Love? Ah, four, four out one. of five. Four out of five. <laughs> Four out of five. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. So so you don't know the 90s as well as you think, right? Yeah. While working in the studio doing sessions, uh, Marvin came up to me and says, Hey, Wolf, I've got this song here. I want you to sing it. And at the time, I wasn't the whole B that time. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he played me the song. I said, oh, I'll hit the song. And then uh, I asked him, so what are you going to call me? He says, will be. Mm -hmm. So from that day, when we recorded that Just Good Friends, yes. I was called will be. That's how it came about. <laughs> will be magic I on Lotus it. FM. Here we go. <laughs> All right, well, so there's two more things before we leave. One is part of the next feature is called karaoke, where we ask uh, our guests to do a little karaoke for us. Okay. What song are you singing in the shower? What song is your karaoke song now? I think I'm going to do the one, uh, um, I think I better leave right now. You don't even know the name, but you know the song. That's, that's one. That's, that's, a, a, that's a real karaoke song. That's a, that's a karaoke song. <laughs> I think I better leave right now. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 man. Will be. Yes, sir. What is your next episode? I'm doing a lot of collabs with, uh, with a few other artists. I just did one now with uh, Lee Vaughan. And then I'm also busy with Donay doing a collab. Basically what I want to do now is try and hook up with Victor also. He's a very good friend of mine, Dwight Taylor. All these guys want to do collaborations with the guys. That's what I want to do next year. So that's your next episode. Yes. We're going to hear lots of material coming from Will B in the near future. That's right. Lovely, man. Once again, Will B, thank you so much for joining us on Lotus FM on the next episode. Appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm here, just like I said Though it's breaking every rule I've ever made My racing heart is still the same Why make it strong to break it once again? And I'd love to say I do Give everything to you But I can never now be through so I say, I think I better leave right now Before I fall any deeper I think I better leave right now I'm feeling weaker and weaker Somebody better show me how Before I fall any deeper I think I better leave right now <laughs> The world be Lotus FM. I mean, that's a perfect karaoke song. Yes. <laughs> no matter what you say or do, there's nowhere that I'm leaving. We got a little bit of something, cause you and I will be married eventually. Oh.